Fiordland. 1800s. The sounds of birds are deafening because there's no people around. But this all about to change with the arrival of Europeans. When the Europeans arrived, they brought with them rats and mice. These small creatures enjoyed the taste of baby native birds and eggs. They also brought stoats to hunt the rabbits that they brought with them, but these also turned out to just eat the eggs and native birds. Since the Europeans arrived, the numbers of native birds have disappeared because of an increase of predators brought by the Europeans, such as stoats, ferrets, and rats. project is designed to eradicate pests, create awareness and restore the bird numbers of the Kepler track. At Fieldland College we have tried to restore the Kepler track with the Kids Restore the Kepler project. However, we can't do it alone. We need everybody's support. if not thousands. And you need that because every trap has its own catchment, if you like, yeah. so you can't have them too far apart because little rats and stoats will get in between and they miss one and then they don't yeah. get caught and I would hate that. So we put as many down as we need to to get them yeah. and that will bring down the number of pests in the forest. Yeah. Kepler. Absolutely. And you know how we, you know how we're checking that? By doing five-minute bird counts to see if the birds are coming back, yeah. by monitoring bugs to yeah. see if bugs are coming back, yeah. by doing trekking tunnels and things like that. You know, by, by having tunnels in the forest that if, if a stoat or a rat would walk through it, it would leave imprints, and we can identify who the bugger was that walked there. That's the ultimate aim, isn't it? That's the way we want to go with the Kepler. So, normally when you get rid of all your pests, or most of your pests, the area will become naturally good for bugs, little birds that come back by themselves. But things like Takahe, that's a long way to walk from the Murchies, right, to come down. So we might give them a hand. What we then do is we apply to Doc and say, look, can we get two or three or four Takahe's, two males and two females, you know, and, and preferably pairs, and we'll, we'll bring them back under protocols and all that, and we set them out in the Kepler and then they can breed and then their offspring will be living there and so on and so forth. And then we say, can we have some falcons back? And can we have some, uh, some funny, funny geckos and things like that? And this is how we're planning a whole species menu to, re to be returned to the capital. One species at a time.